My life hasn't gone like I thought it would. Tell me the truth, how are things going? I mean, you're okay with money and everything? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Why don't we go out later, huh? It's exactly what you need. I mean, when was the last time you actually went out? Sometimes life is right in front of you, but you don't see it. I found out my cousin just got home from Iraq. He needs some help getting around. What, so you're thinking about helping him out? Maybe bring him here. Doesn't he already have help? I mean, why would you want to do that? That just sounds like a lot of work. I don't know, I'm just thinking about it. I thought you were smarter than this, man. You're trying to run your own business and now you're just gonna bring in some total stranger. He's not a stranger, he's my cousin. For me, this is the meaning of life. It's hard for him here sometimes. Maybe he just wants a change of scenery. Hey, cousin. I'm sorry that you don't want to stay here. You don't need to be taking care of me. I was just hoping to help you more. I, I already lost your mother. Come on, only 18 more to go. <laughs> I'm gonna gut you. I thought you're Marine. Act like one of the Golden Girls. Coming home was really tough for me. And the panic attacks, they get me. I just think about the friends I lost. It makes you feel like the only place for you is back there. Get over here, hit! Anderson! Justin! Phelps! Fuck, fuck, Phelps! Fuck, fuck. Phelps! Wake up! It's me! You can't know what goes through a parent's mind when their son goes off to war. You can't sleep at night. Wondering if your son is okay or he's laying in some ditch somewhere bleeding to death. How, uh, how'd you get wounded? We had a roadside bomb. And I was blown out like 20 or 30 feet. No, we should just stay out of other countries. Let them handle their own problems. They want to make a difference. They don't ask for anything in return. Just a little respect. We're both just doing the best that we can in this life. Yeah, it's easy to forget about what people had to sacrifice. Nobody likes war. You know, it's just an unfortunate part of life. You always told me growing up that it was so important to, uh, to be somebody in this world that can, can make a difference. I could turn this house into a, a, a care home for wounded vets. How did you know? <laughs> My life hasn't gone like I thought it would. And you know, I'm glad. <laughs>